I hear you want to try oil cleansing. The viral video by the beautiful The Golden RX definitely got people interested in trying out this method. Now, if you're like me, when I first heard of the word oil and cleansing, I did not think they belonged in the same sentence. It sounded like a complete nightmare. I have oily combination skin that is acne prone and putting oil on my face did not sound right to me, honey. I break out frequently around my forehead, eyebrows, and T-zone, which is the oiliest parts of our faces. So duh, I'm breaking out because I have excess oil. So putting oil on my face wasn't the smartest idea. Typically, pimples are formed when there is excess oil on the skin, which causes a buildup of dirt and bacteria which can clog pores. Ew. When doing my research, I found that the idea behind oil cleanses is that like dissolves like. It's meant to lift excess sebum, which is the oily substance produced by glands on your skin, clean out clogged pores like blackheads and whiteheads, remove dead skin, pollutants, and makeup. I wanted to try this esthetician approved cleansing method and see if it improves my skin. The oil cleanser I will be using is the Palmer Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil with vitamin E, grapeseed, jojoba, rosehip oils, and vitamin C. It is for all skin types and claims to deep clean and brighten the skin. It removes makeup and impurities. I'll be using this on my skin for a week and giving you a day by day review on the oil cleansing method. In the video that she posted on her channel, you can see that there's something that comes out of your skin called oil plugs and it looked disgusting, but I was just so intrigued, like what is this coming out of your skin? So I'm going to be seeing if there's oil plugs coming out, if we could melt some blackheads away, maybe some wetheads, we don't know what kind of surprise we gonna get girl, but tune into the video, keep watching, let's see what happens to my skin. If you're considering trying the oil cleansing method, keep watching to see how my skin reacts. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to join the channel. Day one, I set a timer for 10 minutes and I put a few pumps of oil in my hand. You don't need a lot, a little goes a long way. It's recommended that you massage your face for five minutes up to a maximum of 15 minutes. I set a timer for 10 minutes and I massaged my face, which felt amazing. A few blackheads did come out, but they're so small that you wouldn't even be able to see it on camera. I didn't realize how much tension I had in my jaw from unconsciously clenching them. It felt really nice to just take time for myself. My skin already had small bumps on it, but this could just be due to hormones. I had some clogged pores because I had put like a thick sunscreen on. Something I saw when I read the reviews on this product was that people really complained about the rosehip smell. But I didn't mind the smell, I actually really liked it. It kind of smelled like roses. If you don't mind roses, then you'd love this. If not, maybe this isn't the product for you. To remove the oil, you could either use a wet towel to gently rub it off, or you can just wash your face off because this product emulsifies. That's a pretty big word, but it pretty much means that it's just the breakdown of oils. It will rinse off nicely. Just to be on the safe side, I would recommend going in with a light cleanser, especially if you have oily skin just to make sure there is no oil residue, which could lead to a breakout. For cleansers, I'm using the Clean & Clear Morning Burst Cleanser. Immediately after washing my face, it felt very clean and fresh. It has such a nice, smooth, silky, soft feel to it. I use aloe vera juice as my facial mist and moisturize with the Fruit of the Earth Vitamin E Moisturizing Cream. I've been using these Oxy Deep Pore Cleansing Pads with Salicylic Acid. It helps soak up excess oil and dirt, and it's very good for fading dark spots from acne scars. Usually the pad comes out looking brown and dirty even after cleansing it, but it came away clear, which was amazing. I was shocked. I just wanted to show you the up close and personal in the sunlight, just exactly how my skin looked after cleansing, and I was amazed. I had a nice glow on my face. My skin just felt breezy. I don't really know how to explain it. It just felt refreshing. I really wasn't expecting that after one day, but I still have a few bumps and blemishes, but you know what? It's looking up for this product so far. Hello, today is day two of the oil cleansing for a week. I just went for an hour and a half walk and my skin is girl oily, greasy, going through it. You know what I'm saying? Sweat. On the instructions, it says apply morning and night to dry skin using damp hands. See, that's weird because the other day I did it with uh, dry hands. This says to use damp hands. 
but a, a lot of the videos that I said they said to use dry skin but I guess let's try it let's try it I'm gonna do like the instruction says to get the best out of this product so I'm gonna do it uh, morning and night so right now it is let's just pretend I have a clock it is like noon something is something I'm gonna do this again at night and I'm gonna check in and show you my skin so this morning when I woke up, I had a few bumps and it's just like irritation. It's not pimples, it's just like, you know when you get like a little skin irritation that it's red? I have eczema. Isn't that eczema? So it could just be like a little rash. It could, it also, hormones, you know, it's that time coming up soon. So let's get into this. Day two, I tried applying the oils with damp hands and actually surprised myself with how the product emulsifies. It was so cool to see it sort of like foaming on my skin and really give it that deep clean that I needed. I have a lot of blackheads near my nose right here. So I'm trying to them to uh, come out because the video I saw, she got like plugs, like oil plugs, these nasty little things that come out of your skin. I got one blackhead yesterday. So that was pretty disgusting. Washing my face, it feels really clean. Like I can really feel it getting deep down in my pores. And then I went in with my cleanser and I could feel like, it's like tingly. Like it was really penetrating, you know? So it has a nice shine to it. So I'm gonna go take a shower and go on the day. Check in with you tonight. Day three, I could really see the shine and glow on my skin. My skin felt healthy and very clean. I was really surprised considering this time of the month, I'm usually breaking out around my cheeks or forehead just due to hormones, but my skin felt good. The oil cleansing was now a relaxation nighttime routine for me. I did have a few blemishes on my skin, but they were like pretty normal and minor. I just couldn't get over the shine and this was just because my skin was moisture and not oily like before. Day four, I had a slight rash on my forehead from hair products. I found my skin was a lot softer when I didn't use the salicylic acid, which soaks up excess oil. Hello, today is day five, I believe. And I just wanted to show you how this works as a makeup remover because that is pretty much why people want to buy this because you don't need to remove your makeup before cleaning your face this actually does it while it cleanses your face so I thought today since I was filming another video that I want to take all this off I cannot stand having makeup on my face okay I need to go edit this video so we're gonna take this off and see how well this cleansing oil works okay Day five, I wanted to test out the makeup removing abilities of this product because that is usually what people buy this for. I can't really see anything, but I assume I look like a hot mess. So it's gonna be fun. I have eyelash glue, so I'm getting in deep. Wow, it got it all off. Wow. That was some dark lipstick, so that came off. Okay. That is freshly washed. So I just wanna see, before I put on my moisturizer, um, if there's any makeup residue that comes off. Where did the makeup go? I just want to know, like, when I have makeup on my face, I usually use baby oil, and then I, you know, rub that in, and then I go in with the cleanser and take all the oil off. But when I would do this, I would still have, you know, glue on the eyelashes, just leftover makeup on my face, so I'm really, really shocked. That did a good job. Okay, Palmers, y'all hooking it up. 
I went in with a normal moisturizer and my skin felt amazing. It didn't feel irritated from the makeup or anything and I made sure that I wiped my face clean to make sure that there was no residue. Day six and dun dun dun, it's shark week and I'm getting my normal hormonal breakouts around my cheek, but day seven is where I saw something weird. I noticed around my cheeks and my chin, it looked like blackheads that were trying to be released from my pores, but they were like stuck. It was actually really painful. It felt like something was pinching me. I made the stupid decision to try and pop it, which was dumb because I just ended up with a scab. I think it was a combination of hormones and clogged pores. I don't necessarily think it was from the product because it was the first time I was seeing this reaction on day seven, which is weird. I do have sensitive skin, so who knows. My final review of the product is that the pros, it's very affordable, it's amazing at removing makeup, it's great at controlling oily skin and removing buildup to avoid clogged pores. The product lasts a really long time because you're only using a small amount. This product emulsifies and washes off. Now for the cons. If you don't wash your face off completely, you may have excess oil on your face, which can cause you to break out. Some people didn't enjoy the smell of the rosehip, but I particularly liked it. Oil plugs in the face can possibly become lodged or clogged in pores like you saw in my day seven. I hope this review was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have tried this product or are looking to try it, let me know. I just recently purchased a spin facial brush, so I will be trying that out and reviewing it for you. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video. Thanks for watching, bye.